Hello, welcome to Window to the Soul. Let's see who we're going to read for today. We're coming towards the end of these readings. Water signs, Scorpio. Welcome to your general read, Scorpio. This week's readings are intended as timeless love readings for each of the signs. Please bear in mind that, of course, this reading, Scorpio, is general and therefore cannot, will not resonate with every single Scorpio on the planet. If it doesn't feel like this is your story today, please do feel free to take a look at your moon sign or your Venus sign or your rising sign or actually, in fact, any of your other signs. There is a free birth chart linked in the description where you can go and identify what your signs are and then it's up to you really to discern what energy it is that you're sitting in at any given time. Um, last month, for example, I could identify that I was very much sitting in my moon sign and therefore when I went on YouTube to watch readings from the other amazing um, tarot readers here on YouTube, I only looked at Virgo, even though my sun sign is Gemini, because I know my signs well, I know what energy I'm sitting in. So, you know, if you know your signs, then you can also do the same. You'll know what energy you're sitting in once you understand your chart well. A tarot reading should never be used in place of professional advice, of course, because tarot, it's about possibilities. It's about the choices that you have in front of you right now. And you can always use free will and you can decide, therefore, to make a different choice, perhaps even a better choice. Thank you, everybody, for supporting my channel. Thank you to those of you that take the time to hit the subscribe button, which helps get these messages out there and, of course, helps to grow my humble little channel. I have over 2,000 subscribers now, which is absolutely overwhelming. Um, humbling, something I'm so grateful for. I never, ever could have possibly imagined. So thank you so much. Thank you to everybody that takes the time to hit the like button. Thank you so much for everybody that feels comfortable enough sharing their stories with me. It's always an honor and a pleasure. And of course, thank you to those of you that support what I do here on Patreon with a small donation. It means more than you could possibly ever know. If you do support me on Patreon, please do pop on over there. There are bonuses coming in during this week. I am grateful to each and every one of you. If anybody has any suggestions for future readings, I would love to hear your ideas. Okay, cards are just about ready. Let's lay these out and I'll just talk you through the positions here, Scorpio. How do they feel about you? What do they wish they could say to you? What do you need to know about this person? What challenges and blocks do they have? And what action would they like to take towards you? This is the after tarot here that I'm using along the top row here. And I'm going to be taking a clarifier for each of these positions using the Everyday Witches Tarot. Two of my absolute favorite decks. I will close out this reading with an oracle reading, but um, an oracle card, sorry, but let's get into this. How do they feel about you, Scorpio? So we have the Ace of Wands and the Two of Swords, two cards that are quite early on in the ordering of the cards, you know, essentially a one and a two. The Ace of Wands, it, what a great card for how somebody feels about you. The Ace of Wands is a yearning and a desire um, for something that you feel is following your heart. You know, it kind of asks, what are you passionate about? What inspires you? Um, what will and direction towards a goal will you be taking? It's like, it's the striking of the match. It's the beginning. It's the spark of inspiration. Um, this person is clearly very enamored with you. This person, Scorpio, certainly sees potential um, in a very passionate sense because this is the Ace of Wands, the force of desire and passion and ambition and energy. This is something that inspires. But it does come along with the Two of Swords, which is interesting energy because this is the moon in Libra. As a person, 
This is somebody that seeks validation, somebody who's indecisive, perhaps even blocked or closed off, avoiding something even in the dark. You know, this lady here who's blindfolded. Um, it kind of asks, you know, are you seeing everything or have you considered all of the options? It also suggests that kind of vibration of there are two sides to every story, you know, bring in that Libra energy, the, the, those balanced scales that we associate with the sign of Libra Scorpio. It's somebody indecisive, but, you know, they usually have good reasons. Now, what I'm seeing here with your person is, you know, this combination here is somebody that can see potential with you, somebody that feels that spark with you but for some reason is either blocked off or closed off to the idea or they are in the process of choosing between you and someone or something else however that resonates for you not necessarily romantic but it could be or is this somebody kind of closed off to you or blocked off to you in some way you know when we say things like are you seeing everything because i did mention the blindfold you know this is quite a bright spark i, I couldn't imagine your person is has not noticed you is not seeing you if they if they're presenting the ace of wands here but there is a blockage here there is something kind of stopping them it's not clear what but as we move forward into this spread that might become more apparent it's strange you know it's very hard to ignore the ace of wands aces are potential and opportunities and the ace of wands in particular you know it's full of energy and light it yeah why we're we're blocked off to that you know i'm sure they have their reasons or you will understand what those reasons are potentially let's take a look we're going to move into what they wish they could say to you very interesting okay so i'm feeling here that there's been a split scorpio there's been some kind of separation you're perhaps not communicating with your person right now perhaps not talking to this person or perhaps you know if it's not so much of a literal physical separation it's perhaps more of a disconnect like a breakdown in in the emotional connection here now there is the desire to restart there is the desire to to ignite that match again but what they want to say to you is the five of pentacles and the four of swords now the five of pentacles is mercury in taurus it's not receiving your worth and now i'm looking again at this and thinking this is a card of somebody that is perhaps seeking validation that is potentially one of the blocks and this is a card here the four of swords jupiter and libra another libra card this is a card of wanting to make the peace considering the relationships in our lives you know moving forward who do i want in my life who do i want to invest in who is not here for my greater good we've got this left out in the cold energy here um, emotional positive po poverty sorry feeling wounded restricted communication as i said feeling abandoned or the fear of abandonment but i'm very much getting from this three this section here somebody not feeling validated somebody not feeling that they are being seen almost somebody perhaps feeling judged you know we've got these two energies that embody libra here wouldn't be interesting if justice does come out here but Li libra's already quite heavy in this reading here um you know the four of swords it's it's a it's a pulling away card it's a withdrawal and and the five of pentacles it's also the same but it's for two very different reasons you know in the five of pentacles you're left out potentially possibly probably because you've been pushed out or shoved out um not through your own choice 
And the Four of Swords, it, it certainly is a choice. It's a pulling back, like a time out almost, to recover, to rest, to contemplate. It's a retreat. Somebody who wants to kind of, you know, it's a Swords card, so it's still very much in the mind. It's still very mental. Trying to work out how to make this peaceful and calm and lovely and harmonious moving forward again that libra energy trying to find balance here and we have this very hot and very cold energies going on here hot and cold is that something that resonates for you within this connection scorpio what they want to say to you is while they have been in exile and or time out they have been thinking about you they have been thinking how you fit into their life and they've been thinking about how they can find constructive solutions to the problems that you have people talk about the four of swords as a card of healing and recovery and rest and retreat but we have to remember it's a swords card so we have to consider what is being contemplated it's all very well for us as readers to say oh your person's in contemplation let's get specific you know and and the four of swords does get <laughs> easy for me to say the four of swords does get specific because the second we bring in the jupiter and the libra energy we understand that the four of swords the person in the four of swords here is seeking balance in a relationship the Two of Swords here is trying to see both sides of every story, trying to see not just how they've been left feeling, but how the other person's been left feeling. Your person has very much been considering both sides of the story here. You know, if there was a finger pointing kind of phase, um, a period of blame, they're certainly taking some time to consider their own behaviours as well as yours, Scorpio. And the conclusion that they've come to in their overall energy is that they do want to reignite something with you. You know, they want to move out of this cold energy and into something a bit more heated and passionate and inspiring. Okay? But there is, I, I am seeing a withdrawal. And, and, and I keep getting the word exile. So it's that's quite an extreme word for being left out in the cold. You know, either you've done this to them, Scorpio, you know, shoved them out, ignored them, ghosted them, gone no, no contact, kicked them out of the home, however that resonates for you, or they have put themselves in self-imposed exile. Um, yeah, that's very much definitely what I'm seeing here. What do you need to know then about this person? king of wands and the knight of wands goodness me are you dealing with a fire sign scorpio or are you dealing with somebody who has a lot of fire in their chart or are you simply dealing with somebody who is just very passionate and fired up about you now this is fascinating because we have two court cards of the same suit here but the king and the knight they're very different now could this be a leveling up for your person because this is what you need to know about them perhaps they have previously approached you as a knight of wands and they would like to come back because this is a coming back from this being left out in the cold they now want to come back as a king of wands there's still that fire energy but this is a leveling up and is this the period of reflection that I spoke about that's caused them to now think Scorpio deserves a king of wands, not a knight of wands? Let's break down these two cards. So I'll briefly describe the knight of wands. The knight of wands. Okay. Now, and tell me in the comments, Scorpio, if this sounds familiar, because court cards do represent people. And this is what you need to know about your person. So I can just list off the personality traits of these two guys here. I feel very much this is the energy that you understand of this person and this is the energy that they are moving into okay so knight of wands this guy is fun and quick wicked wit bleh, quick witted he's funny he's humorous he thinks on his feet he's original but he can be easily bored and therefore requires stimulation elsewhere on occasions 
He can be perhaps insensitive, perhaps even argumentative. He is a little tactless, um, can go around burning bridges or pushing boundaries or testing limits, perhaps even, dare I say, a little emotionally oblivious. This is somebody that lives in the moment, somebody that's exciting but demanding. Somebody energetic and enthusiastic and charismatic and spontaneous. This guy's also the player of the tarot. This is somebody who comes charging in with all of those wonderful traits that I just listed off. You know, who wouldn't want to spend a few days with the Knight of Wands? What a fun, charismatic guy. The problem is, if somebody falls in love with the Knight of Wands, beware, because after he's charged in and got what he wanted, he's gone. He's gone. He's a little bit of a devil's advocate, this guy. Um, so are we suggesting, or at least is your person suggesting that they have now leveled up into a King of Wands? So who's the King of Wands? The King of Wands is also charismatic, confident, driven, determined, but he's, he's more grounded. He's more mature. He can, um, kind of overwhelm people that are perhaps timid or sensitive types. He can still be impatient and he carries with him that kind of intolerant my way or the highway kind of energy. Still a fire sign, you know? It's not like he's gone from this child to this perfect human being here. There's still very much an energy of fire going on here. But the King of Wands, he's a natural born leader. He can project authority in a way that pulls people in and kind of rallies people together behind a common goal. He's very inspiring. Um, but as far as commitment levels go, and as far as this player energy goes, the King of Wands has grown up beyond that now. He's moved forward. Um, he's dominant, relentless, impatient, perhaps even unforgiving. He loves a challenge. So that's kind of me laying out these two personality types here. And I do feel very much that this is kind of what you need to know is that your person's leveled up. You know, if you're expecting a Knight of Wands to come back at you because you're used to this behavior, offering this Ace of Wands, I think actually now Scorpio, perhaps you will be dealing with the King of Wands. Now beware, he's an incredibly attractive person, not necessarily physically, but I mean, as in he attracts, he magnetizes people towards him. I think your person is going to be very persuasive and very convincing if they decide they come back to bring you this Ace of Wands, which I very much feel is, you know, it's the overall energy of how they feel about you, this restart, this reignition. The blockage here is this, the hesitation that we saw here is this we're not quite through this yet we haven't fully leveled up yet but this is coming this offer of something new and inspiring following your heart i'm passionate about you scorpio so what challenges and blocks do they have ten of cups and the queen of cups wow wow the Ten of Cups, Mars in Pisces, this is the Happily Ever After card. Um, this is making love your mission. This is expressing yourself. Um, it's divine love, togetherness, perfection and love, all that kind of stuff. It's bliss. Bliss would be the predominant keyword of this card. The Queen of Cups, um, she's emotionally stable. She's nurturing. She's healing. But she does this kind of holding space, keeping a lid on her emotions. Um, she isolates herself on this island here. You can see she's separated. This combination here as a challenge or block is expressing love, the expression of love, the expression of something committed and long-term and deep and committed. I already said committed, I know, but I'll, I'll say it. Devote, devotion, loyalty, you know, the Knight of Wands, as I said, is not the most committed and leveling up from the Knight to the King is all great, but it is a process. It's not 
something that happens overnight and it's not a clear lineal path you know there's, there's a roller coaster of ups and downs that go here sometimes people do slip back into their old ways and i feel fully expressing the depth of their love is a challenge and i feel the concept of happily ever after you know the the wife and the husband and the 2.4 kids and the cat and the dog and the white picket fence I think it scares them I think it freaks them out I think it, commitment is an issue for this person they are working on that and they are certainly moving into something more mature but the fear is still there it, but I think they're moving into a space where they're starting to, starting to understand that it is an irrational fear because they are clearly drawn to you I'm seeing a lot of magnetic energy being pulled towards each other and them very much desiring you being brought back to them being pulled to them but yes expressing the desire for a happily ever after with you is very challenging to them Scorpio I think this is perhaps one of the most interesting positions here this is what action would they like to take towards you spectacular look at this this is absolutely wonderful this is the leveling up that we were speaking about and we have the four of swords here again as if to remind us of everything i spoke about in, in when i first pulled this card jupiter and libra yes rest and recovery retreat contemplation perhaps even exile but what are they contemplating what conclusions are they coming to where is their thought process taking them and this reminds us that, that your person has been sitting in a thought process of considering the relationships in their life who is serving their interests who is making them a better person and the king of pentacles you know the, again this is a massive leveling up this is somebody who's disciplined and secure who takes care of others this is some you know the provider and the protector of the family and the home you know we spoke all about commitment here the king of pentacles is committed he's the most committed of all of the kings as far as providing and taking care of a family would go and this is what your person has been thinking about how they can be a king of pentacles for you the king of pentacles is supportive and devoted um stable and organized they they're a role model and a provider this is somebody that takes their responsibilities very very seriously and this is somebody who does not you know this is a massive leveling up for your person and i feel if there's been a split here or a period of separation or the exile that bizarre word that keeps popping up into my head here i think it was necessary i think this kind of shook up this situation a little bit if somebody left or somebody pushed somebody away you know what i'm seeing here is a desire to reconnect to reignite a spark between two people after a period of separation and deep deep introspection and contemplation regarding who they want in their life and the kind of person that they want to become or be for you moving away from a knight of wands energy and into the energy of not only the king of wands but also the king of pentacles the blockage here of course is still that little wobble about commitment but deep deep thoughts deep deep introspection contemplation who do they want in their life they've decided it's you because the new beginning is in their overall energy and it's taken time for them to really consider that but I, I do believe if they come in and tell you that they've essentially leveled up um, I believe it's genuine although I would say you know the proof is in the pudding isn't it Scorpio um, give them the opportunity to prove it is what I would say of course you know your situation you know what is and isn't appropriate at this time you know what's gone on between you you know how you feel about this situation but i i really really i'm enjoying this 
you know people are allowed to make mistakes what I'm seeing here is somebody that's perhaps made mistakes and is trying very hard to learn and grow from this for you for this connection this is clearly somebody that values this connect connection very much you know to be thinking upon it so hard to be working on themselves so hard it's actually quite wonderful i'm going to finish off with one of these oracle cards for you today here scorpio close out this reading kind of pop a little full stop at the end of this there's no extended this week extended will carry on on patreon next week but as i said if you are a patreon supporter please pop over there to pick up all your bonuses for this week pick a deck readings there's a birthday bonus for aquarius up there so potential outcome and or advice or just uh, a message moving forward what have we got yin feminine energy this is kind of asking you scorpio to kind of step into your feminine power step into your feminine energy now you can be male or female everybody embraces the energy of yin and yang of course but this is saying be receptive not passive but receptive this is saying kind of embody that queenly energy somebody who wants to nourish somebody who has presence and intuition somebody who wants to support a person who wants to better themselves somebody who recognizes the efforts that this person is putting in we have very masculine energies here even you know in the immature phase the knight is still a very masculine action orientated energy the king's of course incredibly masculine and we have this queen of cups here as a blockage and that represents what i just spoke about the presence the nourishment the nurturing the intuition the receptivity this card is advising you to to sit in that energy wait for them allow them to come to you allow them to show you the work they've done on themselves and the progress that they have made and listen and be compassionate and understand and be kind you know create rather than destroy that kind of energy it's kind of it's a bit high priestess empress kind of energy that very very feminine emotionally stable energy that is being called upon here for you to embrace scorpio i hope you enjoyed this today and i was able to give you something good luck with this person i'm really happy for you i'm really happy for them this is this is a wonderful growth and lessons learned here i'm really enjoying that so have a great day and i'll see you next week